Hello guys, recently on Laravel Daily we released a course about the new Laravel reverb here. But almost immediately after we released that course, there was a new important function released in the Laravel, which is anonymous broadcasting related to reverb. It's actually more broader than reverb. You can use anonymous broadcasting with any driver, but I felt the need to update that course with another new lesson. So in the course, we had four practical examples, and now there's lesson number five, anonymous broadcasting in Laravel 11.5. And in this short video, I will show you how anonymous broadcasting works. Basically, it allows you to skip the creation of event class in Laravel. So the original event and broadcasting example in this course was notification on the page about maintenance. And to do that, we had to create a Laravel event. So make event artisan command. And then in that event class, we specify the channel name like system maintenance or whatever you want to name your channel. And then you define that channel in the routes channel file. So what anonymous broadcasting allows us to do, and this is the same example, but with anonymous anonymous broadcasting. You do the same in the routes channel, you define the channel name, and then for testing purposes, we create artisan command to trigger the broadcasting. So in here, instead of calling the event, you immediately define broadcast on channel name. This is the kind of fake event name if you wish to specify it. Then with data, you can optionally provide via broadcasting channel if you have several channels. And that's it. This is the same change of that specific project on GitHub. So before, after. So where you call that event, it used to be event with a class of that event. Now you don't need that event anymore. You just need to broadcast and broadcast on, and then you can delete the event file altogether. It's just kind of a quicker way to fire off quick events if all you're doing in that event class is just providing the channel name. And same example with public and private event in the same course example. Again, broadcast private instead of event, and you don't need that event class anymore. So yeah, kind of a small change you would think, but I think it will be widely adopted because in most cases, those event classes in Laravel have been pretty empty with just providing the channel name. If you want the full example of this code on GitHub, including other examples in the scores, which are about real-time dashboard, online viewers, and live chat, I will put the link to the full course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.